Hi. Okay, we're here again. It's a Friday again and it's after work. It's currently what's what, what time is it? What time is it? It's like what two? Is it two? What time is it? But it's for sure after one. Because I only film <laughs> after 1 a.m. apparently. So it's 1.55. Why is it 1.50 on my watch? Anyway, it's 1.55. And we're here to talk about beauty again. After hours. I think that should be like the name. Like after hours beauty. But this time is not a tutorial. I'm going to share uh, my recent hauls with anyone who's willing to watch, I guess. Like, if you want to be Buddha, yeah, go ahead and watch. But I'll be talking about my purchases from Sephora, Philippines, Beauty Bar, Rustans.com, um, SM Aura Beauty Department, Shopee, <laughs> and also Beauty Manila. I went a little insane. Uh, this is my collective haul for the months of April, May, and June. For April, May, and June. Okay, I think I want to start with the Sephora haul. We'll do them by batches. I actually have one box and, uh, and a second box from Sephora. These are all the items. And I only bought them because they were on sale. The first package only had this. So this is the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership palette, the Celestial Divinity one. And usually it retails for like four thousand something. Four thousand four five, four two something. I, I'm not prepared. I'm so not ready. Oogie. Um, I don't know how much it costs originally, but we, we can check it. We can check. Uh, how much is it? But I got it at like 50% off, which is the only reason why I bought it. Because I would never actually buy uh, a palette worth 1000 but I think it's worth it. I'm gonna just put the box somewhere in. Show you guys. Can you can y'all see? Can, can everybody see? That's actually pretty. I've already tried some of them, so this is gonna be like a haul. Plus first impressions. Some of them are like really chunky glitters. For example, this shade, I'm not I'm not sure if I'm pointing at like this one and also this one. But they're very pigmented, and I've heard a lot of um, YouTubers say that there's a lot of fallout, even if you use primer. I find that to be not true, because I even used it without primer, and it still, like, latched onto my skin. But with primer, it's the best, of course. What else do we have? Um, so second package, because I got boodled again, because they kept on going with the sales, was this Zoeva share your radiance um set so it has all three of these things so you get a brush a highlighter brush highlighter and a lip gloss and i have tried the highlighter and the gloss already so i actually kept the packaging because i'm such a sucker for packaging and it's all like rose gold so this is the highlighter it's called supreme and it's it's basically like one of the most beautiful highlighters I've ever seen ever and I'm gonna just swatch it for you. So it's not like super pigmented. I'm not sure if it even shows up on camera. But I, I've tried using it and uh, originally I thought it could double as a blush but it's more like a blush topper or like a really glittery highlighter or an eyeshadow i mean you could use it as a highlighter if you like looking like a disco ball but that's a look like no judgment it's a look but i i used to like them now i prefer like more shimmer than glitter but anyway um the next item is the the gloss 
which is called Powerful Lip Shine. Does it have a name? Sing with me. No, thank you. Uh, but it is still pretty. It kind of reminds me of like Nara's Orgasm because it's like pink with glitters. That's what it's called. Like my partner is legit like laughing at me right now. Nars has like really really weird names. Like they have like deep throat, torrid, orgasm. They have super orgasm even. So it's like it's fine. It's fine. It's what they're called. But this is actually really pretty. Pretty sheer, very sheer, but with glitters. I actually used it today, but this is like four layers of lip products because I wanted to get a specific shade and I'm actually doing a wear test for wedding makeup. But anyway, let's not get carried away. Oh, this is probably my favorite out of all the things, but this or the Pat McGrath, but the Glow Kit. Oh my god, Glow Kit. It's so pretty. It was also 50% off. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is 40% off used to be around two something and got it around one four but this one was 50 percent off i got it around one three one thousand three hundred ninety five i will try to list the, the the prices down below but and link them if it's if they're still on sale because the sale run, runs i think until the end of june and we're already on the 26th yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys. I actually used this today and I used the shade Tourmaline. I'm not sure if you can see, but this one, it's really like the prettiest highlighter I've used. I'm not really sure if I can use the bronze shade, but I think I can get away with using three, but I just wanna show this one. This is like super pretty, like, like, Oh, it's so pretty. It's kind of peachy, actually. Peachy, pink. The Zoeva highlighter is pinker, I suppose. But this one shows up better on your face. This is the highlighter that I'm wearing right now. And I think there's still significant glow, even if it's been hours and hours. So now it's like 2 p.m. and I put this on at around 3 or 3.30 so I think it wore nicely and the rest are like uh, the things that I got using uh, Sephora points so for a hundred Sephora points I got a, a sample size of the Patrick Star brand a one size translucent powder it's, it's, it's so tiny it's super tiny and I actually wanted to use it today but I couldn't get the plastic film off it was really hard to get it off so I'll probably use it some other time but it does look nice it's it's apparently translucent but it has some color to it I think I think if your skin tone is darker you might need a different shade and also, I got uh, a set for um, 500 points. I'm not sure if the box is still here, but this is the box that it, it came in, and there was another box inside the box. Exception. And it was a cuddly set, a brightening set, which includes a toner, uh, a toner, um, an essence or no a serum and uh, a night cream and it's supposed to be more brightening than vitamin C I'm not sure what's in it because I may have misplaced the box but if you have sensitive skin stop laughing if you have sensitive skin I don't think you will like this there is a very strong fragrance to it that my skin reacted to almost immediately. My face got very red, so I will probably give this to someone with, like, I don't know, uh, a fragrance resistant skin type or someone who would like to try it because it, it really does have a smell. Um, ooh, it's very astringent. It smells like 
I, mean, I don't know. I don't really know, but it, it smells really strong. So that is it for the Sephora boxes, I think. And we are gonna move on to, I think we can move on to Beauty Manila, I think. <laughs> I forgot to show everybody the Zoeva brush. So it's like a, a tapered uh, blending brush. And it's, I think it would be good for like highlight or for a dusting powder under your eyes. But it's very short, it's super cute. I think it would be great for travel. I'm not sure if I would use it for every day, but it's really nice. Still same, uh, same Zoeva quality of the brush, but I'm not sure if I want to use it yet. I, I kind of want to preserve it so it doesn't get dirty. But anyway, I'm gonna uh, show you all the, the Beauty Manila haul. It's a much smaller box. <laughs> and I will start with the brow products that I got. This came as a set, and I, I think I already threw out the box, but I got um, two full-size Benefit brow products. Can you guys see? Is it okay? Yeah. Um, so I got the Precisely My Brow and the Groove Proof ones in what shade? I think four? Is it four? Four. Yeah, both of them are four, so I have tried both of them, and I prefer the precisely my brow and it was also on sale i think the whole set cost me around one five i will i promise to like make the prices below <laughs> but the uh the set was originally priced at around two one something like that but if you buy them like individually individually they're like one five or one six so it was like buying um one uh, buying two for the price of one so I think it's a great buy and I think it's still on the Beauty Manila website or the app but I'm not sure about the shade. I think the shade that's left is blonde or something but they might have restocked the darker shades. Not completely sure. And then, well let's talk about some of the more affordable ones. So I, I go both ways. I like to save but I also like some bougie products depending on my mood but this one just caught my attention because it was very cute it's from squad squad cosmetics and I, I like the design it kind of reminds me of ColourPop it gives me ColourPop or rom and vibes and I have tried the shades already you get what you pay for basically because I uh, this is 89 originally 99 I think but I think you have to use some type of fixative, like you can spray your brush with Fix Plus, or you could just use water to get more pigment out of this, because it's not very dark, I think. Uh, well, that one is okay, <laughs> but the other one, it doesn't really show up. Plus, uh, I think the glitter, not too much. The matte one is okay. But when you blend it out, it kind of leans towards like a pink rather than an orange. So that kind of surprised me. And um, I think you need glitter glue or something for the chunkier shade. I'm not sure, but there was some fallout. Um, if you're looking for like uh, like a cheap alternative to an eyeshadow palette. I think you could do this. It's good for travel. You can just like plop it in your bag, but I'm not sure about the packaging because it might break, so be careful with it. And speaking of eyeshadows, I also got one from Roman. Uh, it's a Korean brand. And I only got it because it was duochrome. <laughs> There's like a shift to it that is super pretty. So it's like, it's blue and brown and red and it's so pretty i shall put it on my arm make it lower so it's the top one i need to clean my arm for more swatches but this is really good i i think you can use it as a an all over eyeshadow if you like the disco ball look or just as an eyeshadow topper and 
I also got more Rome and lip products because I wanted to try some of their tints. So I got two of the, um, I think, the milk tea? Yeah, the milk tea line. And they legit smell like chocolate and caramel. I don't know which one I like better, but <sighs> it actually smells like chocolate. This smells so good. Like sometimes I just like open it up and smell it and like it's, and it's very moussey. Like I don't even need a lot. I'm just gonna like that. But I don't use a lot. I use max three dots on my lips and it's like <sighs> it's so dark. <laughs> and it, it will stay on your lips even after you've eaten so that's the darker one this is the chocolate tea and I also got the uh, caramel tea caramel which is more on the orange side it also smells like dessert so I'm just gonna dot that you don't need a lot so this is gonna last me like forever probably so this one is more orangey so if you're into like the orange shades, this is caramel and this is chocolate. Like <laughs> I'm resisting the urge to lick my arm and like my fingers. Like as nice as those are my favorite. It has to be the juicy tint. And I got it in the shade dark coconut. Like you guys cannot imagine like how how long it took me to decide on which stage to get but this is my favorite it's not pigmented at all but in a good way and it smells like a fruit like like if you open a bag of gummy bears or something it smells so good and um you also don't need a lot i think and it's very sheer but in a nice way so this it's like the bottom one i'm not sure if y'all can see but i'm trying and when you put it on it just looks like your lips well at least my lips my lips go better very mlbb and it's it's not as long lasting as the other two but it's more moisturizing that's the word that i want to look for and i think i want to um clean my arm first and then I will get back to you with the next box I think we'll do Shopee next I found a lot of really cheap items uh, for the uh, I think is it 6 6 sale? that's what it's called yeah the 6 6 sale so I'm gonna be right back I'm gonna clean, clean my arm alright we're back and I've just cleaned my arm but the chocolate tint that is red is really asserting its dominance over my forearm so it's still a little pink but I used the L'Oreal micellar water it was pretty good very uh, very similar to the Garnier pink one uh, and I got that at Landers it was 50% off so it was only about like 150 pesos so yeah you can get stuff from grocery stores too anyway we'll move on to the Shopee haul I think this is these are like two separate hauls but we'll, we'll just put them under the Shopee haul I got them from two uh, Shopee stores I forgot the name but one is Makeupolics this is from Makeupolics I'll also link them down below and I got them uh, during the 6 6 sale and these uh, brushes are from Wet n Wild, like legit Wet n Wild. I still have their the packaging over here, and the original prices were around three hundred forty nine or three hundred fifty pesos. But the this like domed, I think flat flat shading brush, P twenty five brush for I think eyeshadow. This was only sixty six pesos. Sixty six. For a brush of course i have to get it and then these two were both 166 each this one um is actually really great for contouring like your jaw as if i don't already have like a massive jaw <laughs> i'll still use it there or for like uh, contouring at the sides of your face your cheeks and this one they say it's a foundation brush but i don't use it for foundation 
I use it for blush because it really hugs like your cheek area here and that's where I like to put my blush really close to the eyes so that I can like snatch my face back up and not look like a potato so yeah actually I plan to get more of these because these are actually super good I want to get a whole set but I don't know where to get it I'll try to look uh, for them on Shopee from the same store um, I also got other Wet n Wild products also 66 pesos which is insane because I think the original price was around 300 or 400 plus as well I got two little palettes I haven't used them and I don't really want to use them right now <laughs> because I don't want to like ruin like the the flowers and they're so pretty I think this is limited edition it is and this is called bed of roses look at it is that not super pretty and then the other one is secret garden rendezvous I think I like bed of roses a bit better but this is also nice. Um, you can, I think I really like the, the shimmery part, but this one I feel is more me. And again, 66 each. What a steal. We love a bargain. I also have uh, some Wet n Wild retractable liners. There you go. Three shades. Um, one is called Bear bear to comment I thought it would be more nude but it's very pink it's very pink I'll swatch it on my oh that's very creamy yeah they're all very creamy very worth your money I will smudge it a bit it looks mauve on my hand but on my lips it's very pink which I don't get uh, another one in I got the juice. Oh, this is the purple one. I actually have not swatched this one yet. <gasps> oh, that's so pretty. It's like super purple because I like my dark purple moments. And lastly, uh, we got lastly, uh, where's the, the name? Gone Burgundy. <laughs> I lost the name for a bit. Okay. A bit similar. It's a bit similar to the other shade, but I think it's leaning more towards red than purple. So I figured uh, I could use those for like a lot of my looks because I either go really dark or nude for my lips. Speaking of nudes, um, I have this is what I have on right now actually this is the essence shine 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 wet look lip gloss in the shade let me see if I can find the shade where is it so into it and it's, it's like this and it's very sticky it's very and it also smells like candy it smells like candy and it, I want to get more of these I want to get backups and they also have the clear uh, the clear lip gloss, which I also kind of want to get, because why not? Um, still from Essence, I got, I haven't actually opened them, but, opened it, but I got these falsies, 66 pesos. Oh, I forgot to mention, 166 pesos, or was it 66? I'll just leave it in the description box. And also, each of the liners for 66 as well because it was a 66 sale i think that's why everything was either 166 or 66 but these were uh 66 pesos as well i got them because they're very wispy and like maybe they'll look natural on my tiny eyes so I'm just, i just want to try them uh, and for eyes we have more products i have an eye primer it's not really new to me it's new but it's not new to me I've tried it before and it's it's decent it's a decent um, eyeshadow primer it's called the I love stage from essence I think this was also 166 I think and I got some liquid eyeshadows from wet n wild 
the liquid cat suit eyeshadows my favorite because this is the one that i've used like twice already is shells and whistles so it's like a, a champagne color it's the color i have in on my eyes gorgeous um i also have cashmere i've tried this and this is more glittery than like shiny or shimmery like it's straight up glitter like if you put it on your like eyes it's just glitter so it, i think this would be better um as a as an eyeshadow topper actually i haven't tried the the green one which is just called emerald but let's try it now oh it's also very glittery okay let me try to blend this out ah ah oh 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 i love green i love green eyeshadow okay so it's it's very chunky and glittery if you guys can see but it's very beautiful Sixty-six pesos. You can, you can't complain. You can just layer this. I think it's it's a bit patchy, but we can work with that. You can just like put it over top, like a a clean eyeshadow look. And I think the last one. This is the last one. This is from a different store. All the other like sixty-six peso, one hundred sixty-six items were from Makeup Alex, and this one I forgot. The name. But I will link them down below because I, I love the 3C Take A Layer. I have one in another shade, but I really wanted the orange one. So that's what it looks like. I love the packaging. Like, I have the other one, which is Primula. 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 Which is like red. It looks red in the pack. But when you blend it out, you put it on your face. It's more pink, and I really wanted Common Time, which is kind of hard to find um, on Sephora, sometimes not available on Beauty Manila and other places. It's so pretty. If you're not a fan of orange, you're not gonna like this. But if you like orange, orange, it's so pretty. Like, it's so pretty. That's, that's like two taps of my finger and I like putting this like right here under my eyes and it's just it's so nice if you have medium to deep skin you need this you need it um I think you could still make it work if you have light skin but very little you can put it on your lips and your cheeks and your eyes although I haven't put it on my eyes yet just my cheeks but that's fine I really like that one so that I think is the last uh, for the shoppy haul I think we can do beauty bar like next because it's just two things I'll just add it here okay so I think I got this in like either early May or late April these are the uh, cover shot uh, palettes from Smashbox because they were BOGO they were buy one get one we love buy one get ones. The the first one is called the Smoky Eye Palette. Is that just what it's called? The Smoky Eye? Yeah, it's just called the Smoky Eye Palette. And the packaging is super cute. It like changes and everything. And it's super tiny. Great for travel. And it comes with a mirror. This is the palette that I like to call Christmas Goth <laughs> because it's like emo colors but with like a pop of red and green. Christmas Goth. And I've actually tried the green here already and some of the other shimmers. Really great quality. Like you can't read it. And the other one is the Desert Eyeshadow Palette. Also cool packaging. Like it changes when you flip it around. <laughs> I love that. Also comes with a great mirror and I really like this one. I think this is my favorite because it's like like sandy rosy tones and then green. We love green. 
I think I used uh, this side, this side, these colors over here for my eyes. I actually used like four, four, three or four palettes for the eye look, but they're very nice, very creamy, super easy to blend, and I would buy more of these, but the ones that I like are like sold out and they don't have the BOGO sale anymore, so that's a little sad, but I got two. That's enough for now, which is just sad. I hope they bring it back. But anyway, we'll go to which one is next? We'll do the SM Aura haul next, and then we'll end with the NARS haul because that one, that one's actually my favorite. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab that. Bye. Anyway, I keep forgetting to tell, uh, tell you guys like how much stuff. Uh, this stuff costs um the 3c take a layer multi bought this one was originally around seven uh, 775 uh at this shop and it was on sale for like 233 plus shipping i paid 268 which is not bad because usually this is around 1000 something on sephora and or beauty manila so it was a steal and it was like it was legit i got the same box like the one like uh, for the other blush exactly the same product so it's like i, I wish <laughs> i had waited for that sale before buying the original one but anyway we're gonna start with the sm aura haul i think this is the most recent one and I always, <laughs> I'm always super attracted to the, the Revlon counter because it's, it's like the most prominent one. Like when, when you like go into the SM Beauty department, it's the first thing there. And they just have so many pretty things and a lot of things were on sale. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy something. And oh, I wanna start with the freebie because the lady was so nice. She gave me a freebie. And these are colors that I usually don't really go for. Um, there were two freebie options. One was like warmer, there were like reds, oranges, it was like a really nice gold. But this is like more Barbie. This looks very Barbie to me. And apparently, this is supposed to be for your lips, but the lady said you can also use it as eyeshadow, like cream eyeshadow. I don't know about putting this like, straight silver shade on my lips, but maybe an eyeliner? I'm not sure because they, I tried them out like at the counter and they seem very emollient so I'm not sure what to do with this yet but it's very pretty and I like that it was free. Okay moving on, uh, things that were like 50% off, these lippies? these are called the revlon kiss plumping lip cremes so the other one is like a nude shade and the other one is super dark the nude is a velvet mink and it is rich bordeaux my kind of colors and they're not actually super pigmented they're more like a, a thick gloss so i cleaned my hand already so it looks super pigmented on my hand but if you put it on your lips, like, it's nothing. Like, I'm gonna put it right now. Like, uh... Also, it smells like cookies and cream. Kind of similar to... <laughs> it's true. It, it smells like cookies and cream. It kind of smells like MAC lipsticks too. Yeah. But this is sweeter. This tastes... Tastes. No, it smells. I swear I haven't eaten this. <laughs> It, it smells, it smells like cookies. Don't, don't at me. Also smells like cookies, the dark one. I'm gonna swatch it. Like again, it seems super dark uh, on my hand, but like on your lips, not really. So it's for those days where you don't wanna wear like a full on matte lipstick or something if you just want to like 
juicy, I suppose. This is nice. And it has, I think, more staying power than a regular gloss because it's thicker, but it's still nice. Um, not, not as liquidy as this one. Not, not as sheer as this one as well. So it has a bit more coverage, but yeah, I don't know. And they were also, <laughs> I'm gonna forget the price again. They were around 180 pesos. They were 50% off. And let's go to like the bullet lipsticks. The packaging is super nice, by the way. Like I love the packaging. It's very similar to like NARS packaging. It's like the rubberized matte packaging. And it's so cute. It's very pretty, very minimalist. And I got uh, these shades, After Hours and Hot Chocolate. So Hot Chocolate is very warm. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's like an orangey brown. It looks so good on your lips. Like, And this one is After Hours, which is like a dark, purple dark burgundy purple like a, like a glass of wine and it's super nice and both of them are they're not super matte i would say they're more moisturizing than like i don't know like than ruby Woo and the other retro mattes from mac and i think you can like have you can even eat a meal and i think i think they'll last through them so again, these are the shades. I can't decide which one I like more, but I think I think I like hot chocolate for like every day, and then the after hour shade for when you want to feel yourself a bit more, and then oh, uh, the foundations. Uh, I have two foundation shades. Apparently, these were like on sale because they're changing the packaging i think they're moving from the the glass bottles to those squeezy tubes so these were 350 each 350 350 and that becomes 700 is it 700 it's 700 right it's 350 for 350 it's 700 it's 700 yeah i was right but they were they're were originally around 850 each so the two of them together costs less than the original price which is great and the lady was very helpful like with finding the correct shade for me i think um this is my actual shade shade which is fresh beige and i wanted to get a lighter one because my skin tends to be acidic so it gets a little orangey so i want to like try it uh try this on its own and then mix the two i actually tried this yesterday already and it looked okay surprisingly very runny and liquidy so it's easy to blend and very buildable not as full coverage as i thought it was going to be not like kvd like spackle on your face but it was nice and i it has a slight fragrance it smells like soap it smells like hand soap that's what it smells like and actually i thought i broke it because i pulled this too hard that the pump came with it and i thought it was gonna spill everywhere so be careful when you open new stuff <laughs> this one i have yet to open and then the next one because i was just looking for like more sale items not as big of a sale a big of a discount as the others but i really wanted to try a new brow product because i've only been using like face shop and the daiso um brow products for like a few years now since 2000 15? 15? 14? So I was like, it's high time. That's why I bought the Benefit ones and also this. Which, it's kind of like the Precisely My Brow. It's very fine. And also very creamy. Dark. It's a dark shade as well. This is the shade. I will find it. 
find it. Here, I'm gonna find it. Where? Oh, what? Does it not say? Dark brown. <laughs> it is dark brown. It comes with a spoolie and also a secret. A secret. Wait, no, that's not the secret. <laughs> a secret brow powder. And then you can like smudge on your brows. I haven't quite worked out how to use the little powder puff on the stick because it, it can get a little messy but the pencil itself this side is pretty good and I got it for around 400 something it was it originally 600 or 700 I mean I figured with all the good deals I got I could splurge on this a bit and the next one is also a bit of a slurge a slurge? what? can I speak? I'm sorry it's like 3am already and I've been talking all day I've been talking all week and I don't I, I can't speak anymore <laughs> but i still want to do it because i want to share it um this one is actually a really good find i love loose powders for your face and this one is such a good one I, i've already used it like twice already it makes my face feel like a pillow very cushiony of course my face is really fat as well so that that helps with the cushiony feeling but this sets the the foundations that i've used really well um the, especially it goes really well with this one because this tends to be super wet after you've put it on even if you wait like a minute or two it's still really tacky but if you dust this over top of it it, it just it gets mattified but not super flat not matte but not flat so that i'm not trying to steal nyx's catchphrase which is stay matte but not flat uh, oh oh there you go so it's very secure <laughs> you, you you saw me struggle so at least you won't like get powder everywhere which has happened to me many a time and you don't need a lot like you you can just like like a little bit and use it all over your face and you will end up with like more that you don't even need so you have to be careful with how much you pour out but it's really nice it's so nice i think this is my new favorite powder i'm sorry to cody airspun but this is really nice the packaging is also good oh i forgot <laughs> forgot to mention the shade it is in 001. It might be a little too fair for some people because it, it does. It looks pink. A very light pink on me, which I can get away with, but they have two other shades. One's like more medium yellowish. And then the next one is for like more medium to dark tan skins. So that's it for the the Aura, SM Aura Beauty Department Revlon counter. And the last one is probably going to be my favorite. It's my favorite haul and it's going to be uh, from Restance.com Restance.com and also the other beauty department at SM Aura which is Look At Me. So I'll just, yeah, I'll put the Revlon stuff away and then we'll talk about the NARS haul. I'll be right back. Bye. We back. This is the last uh, set of products and this is actually my favorite because it's all NARS. We'll start with the first few things that I got. And they're from uh, the look at me section of SM Aura and also even though they're like NARS these were on sale they were like 500 off with extra discounts I actually I don't know why but it was just like serendipity <laughs> we just happened to like walk past and I wanted to ask about the Laguna bronzer because uh, my 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 very first bronzer ever uh 
got into like uh, an accident of some sort so somebody wanted to get me a new bronzer and uh, we just ended up at NARS and they happen to have a sale so we're like yay we're gonna buy NARS stuff so the very first thing that I got was the NARS Laguna bronzer the original one which is like the the shiny one the shimmery one and like I have I have no notes this is like the best bronzer for me I've used it before and I'm so glad that I have it again and I, I do enjoy the new packaging and it's gonna take me I don't know maybe another two years um, to get through this and it was originally around two 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 fifty but I think I, I got it around one eight one eight because it was all like 500 off uh, per item and yes I keep them in the boxes because NARS packaging is pretty as it is the, the rubberized matte thing it gets really dirty super fast and like if you keep it with your other things you, you put it in your bag like things stick to it and I'm just not about that <laughs> so I I keep all the boxes and they stay in there it's a bit of a hassle to keep opening and then closing and putting them back in but I don't care I want the products to look pretty I mean to this day my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance still lives in its box because that velvet packaging cannot be dirty no anyway moving on next item is the blush which retails for uh one eight but i got it for one three 500 off again and since we love orange we got taj mahal i swear if you have medium to deep skin tone you need this you need this it's just, if you're morena yeah, this is like the best blush for you this is the best blush ever i'm gonna swatch it just just a little swatch and i'm gonna put this here and it's so glowy i don't know if i'm showing it to you it's so glowy and orangey like if you put this on top of common time which i showed y'all earlier gag so pretty we can actually use this as i think eyeshadow as well i think but i'm gonna keep this just for the, the cheeks and i really like to put it super high and blend it with the bronzer so it's like just one big orangey bronzy swipe on my cheeks and we're also gonna put it back in the box because i'm a psychopath I'm kidding. Uh, and the next thing that we got was the uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer. And the the counter lady was very helpful. She helped me find the correct shade, which I really like. This is Macadamia. It's already out of the packaging. And I've been using this nonstop since we got it. We got it in, in May. Was it May? Yeah, like late May every day or every time rather that I put on makeup this goes on my face it's the best concealer I've ever used it's my favorite I used to use the Maybelline Maybelline Fit Me I've used the L'Oreal one I've used uh, Kat Von D ones uh, Becca this is my favorite so far it's so full coverage but not too thick and once you set it with powder it's gonna stay there and it doesn't get all crinkly and stuff so this is the one that i'll probably use up the fastest and i'll probably need a new bottle pretty soon how often it, it it's supposed to last you like 24 months after opening but knowing how i use concealer it's not gonna last that long so these were like the three items that i got from look at me and uh, i don't want to say it out loud like how much it cost but 
with all the discounts it was around four something because there were like additional discounts on top of like the 500 off per item and i think just a week ago or so uh i think it's still going on now i think restance.com is still having like a sale for like nars items so i got boodled again because if you buy certain products you either get 500 off or 1000 off your next purchase so i had to buy something also i am trying out foundations for a wedding that i'm going to do it's a friend's wedding that's what the face is for as well because i work from home i don't really need this that's why i'm buying lots of makeup i'm using it as an excuse to wear makeup so i bought this foundation that i've always wanted to try and it's it's like super expensive like my wallet is weeping but the nars um natural or radiant long wear foundation it's so beautiful oh my god oh, it's just the, the packaging the the packaging it's beautiful and it comes with a foam I like that it already comes with a foam because some foundations you have to buy it separately so this one is good I think I may have chosen um, a shade that's a bit too warm for me this is Stromboli so I think I might need to get either Punjab or Fiji just to mix it in or I could mix in the Revlon as well because I've done that before at some point I mixed L'Oreal True Match, Kat Von D Locket Foundation, and the Maybelline Fit Me. All three. And I put it in a little like canister. And that's what I used on my face. And I just cleaned it regularly and refilled it with like equal parts of those three foundations. So I'm gonna try mixing this with the Revlon. Or I might just buy another. If they still have that sale, it's like another thousand off your like next purchase. So it it's not too bad. And I also got freebies, which I will show you next. Well, not next. The the other full size item that I got one thousand off on is their new air matte blush. Cause I have never actually tried like cream blushes before. This is the shade Gasp. It's what I'm wearing on my face right now. It's like my new favorite. Like, I'm just gonna dip in here and it's also orangey. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's like the most natural shade. I'm just gonna make it thicker. This is the one. This is Gasp. And it's so nice. I had to stop myself from putting this on my face. I just kept layering and layering and layering and layering and layering it on my face. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, this is, I think, one of my favorite blushes. So if you guys haven't noticed, I like really warm. Like this is such a warm color and I think it would work on people who are like fair to like light medium I'm not sure if it'll show up on your face if you are tan or darker skin but we might have to try but they have other shades this is just the one that I was most attracted to so it was 1.8 I believe and so 1000 off I got it for 800 and they also had an additional promo that if you spend a certain amount of money, you get freebies. So the freebies that I got were a NARS bag. It's not, there's nothing special about it. It's, it's just regular, regular cloth with a NARS logo but and, and a zipper. <laughs> so that's it. And also, I got the tiniest bronzer ever look at this this is an eyeshadow but 
what's in here is actually Laguna. It's so pretty. Can you, can you see that? It's the same product as this. These are the same. These are the same. But it's so tiny. I I don't even know if your brush can fit in there, but I guess you can make it work. Or you can just use it as an eyeshadow. Or if you want to travel, if you can travel, you can still use this. But I'd be so afraid of like breaking it and stuff. I, I don't know how I'm gonna use this yet, but I'm gonna I'm just gonna keep it in the box because it's the cutest bronzer I've ever seen ever. And the last freebie is another travel size product, another mini. Uh, this is the lipstick. Look how tiny. Can you see? Can you see? It's like the size of my nose. And it's the shade Toled. I used it today among amongst other things. And it even has the NARS logo on the thing. Like on the product itself. That is so cute. And it's like a, a mauve pink shade that actually leans more warm. It looks very cool tone, like in the bullet. But I put it on like earlier and I was like, oh, that's that's a warm pink. So I had to like put something over it because I wanted something more cool tone. But this is really cute. You just throw it in your bag, but not really throw because it's the same packaging as the other things and things like dust and other like bits and pieces of other things will stick to it so I, i'm gonna put it back in the box i put everything back in the box like are you no 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 i'm gonna protect all of these things and i will keep them all in their respective boxes like the foundation the blushes the bronzers and everything i'm just gonna keep them there and i think that is the end um my my favorite purchases were probably the ones uh either from shopee or the the nars stuff because the shopping ones were just super cheap and it was like it was just so surprising like, I, I bought something for 66 pesos. It was cheaper than the little eyeshadow. And I think I, I, I might still get other things from that shop. I still want to try other things. They have other Essence and Wet n Wild products. And I think they also have some e.l.f. ones. So I'll, that's going to be another haul. <laughs> I'll probably have another haul for July. July, August, September. Yeah, I'm just using like my friend's wedding as an excuse to buy more products to test them out. How I think I don't know which video is gonna like be uploaded first, either the tutorial or this one. Probably the tutorial because that was filmed about a week ago. Anyway, that's it. That's all. That's all the products. And I hope somebody likes the video. I hope uh, you guys discovered <laughs> some new products or stores from this. And I will see you again next time. Bye. Good night. I'm gonna take this off and go to sleep. Okay, I'm ready. When? No, no, no. No. It's already gone. <laughs> Say okay. when. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll do it like this then. I'll show them the box and what's inside the box. So it's like, yay, this is from Sephora. 
faces from Lola. This is Rustan, Sephora, um, SM, Aura, Shopee, Shopee, Beauty Man. <laughs> oh, Beauty Bar. Thank you.